All right, today I'm really going for it. I've never done this before. This is an experiment. Uh, I haven't even consulted recipes on exactly really what I should do, but I'm going to try to pull off some chili. And uh, I'm going to take everything to the stove the way I would do it, the way I think it should be done, using what I have. Um, I think there should probably be some, some cumin in this, but I don't have it. I'm going to use what I've got. Got some tomato sauce. I got some shallots and some onions, tomatoes, uh, Italian sausage, hamburger. Got the lentils, garlic. Got the chili sauce. I got some tequila I'm going to throw in there. I've got uh, some, some bacon grease here that I've saved. Uh, obviously, a jalapeno pepper, some chili powder, oregano. And in the back here, some cayenne, some salt. And I'm gonna I'm gonna start out with some sauteing these uh, these onions and uh, start bringing everything up on the stove, and we'll go from there. All right, one-handed. We're gonna start with some bacon grease. I'm gonna go with about two tablespoons worth of that. I'm gonna go with the onions, the scallions, and I'm gonna saute this about five minutes so we, we get it to where it starts to caramelize a little bit. I'm even going to throw in a teaspoon of sugar to help that caramelizing process. Okay, what I've got here in the meantime is uh, some lentils. I've got about three cups worth. I'm putting it in a crock pot. My goal is to have this go overnight on the low uh, cooking uh, temperature here, slow cooker here from the crock pot. While these uh, onions saute here. I'm going to bring this over here and drop this into the, the cooker. I'm going to set it on low. I've got some uh, chicken stock here I'm actually going to save for this. And I've got some uh, just drinking water. I don't like the water out of our tap. It doesn't taste too good. So I'm going to just cover these just to the top. I don't want to drown them. I just want enough in there to soak the beans for a little bit while I do everything else. And then I'll combine everything. Okay, back to the caramelizing here. I'm going to go ahead and add the garlic, which is probably about an entire teaspoon's worth. Minced garlic. That's just the way I like to do it. I keep it in bulk because I use so much of it. And I'm going to saute this for about another minute. And then what I'm going to start doing from there is start adding all the, the hamburger that I've got over here and the uh, Italian sausage that I've got. There's about a pound of each. A pound of hamburger, a pound of Italian sausage, and that's going in next. All right, cool. Check it out. I've added the hamburger on top of the uh, onions as well as the uh, Italian sausage, so it's all in there. I want to keep it uh, as chunky as possible. I don't want it to separate. I'm sure it's going to do that when it tenderizes in the chili itself, when it's all combined with the uh, lentils and, and cooks overnight. But right now, I just want to get it all nice and brown. I've got... Uh, a large jalapeno pepper that I have that I want to add to this. I've got to keep it soft because I've got girls I've got to feed. Two little girls, my wife, they don't like it that hot. My wife does, but i got to take care of the girls. So I've got to keep it a little bit on the light side. Otherwise, there'd be all kinds of green peppers in here, red bell peppers, all that. And uh, if you want to do that for yourself, obviously, you're welcome to do that. Just make sure that you do it with the onions when you saute in the beginning with that bacon grease. Next step is going to be the the seasonings and the tomato sauce. Everything's brown enough to start adding the seasoning. I'm going to go over here with the uh, chili powder. We're going to do a couple tablespoons of this. Good old boy. All right. Uh, that was a little small. Let's get a little bit more. We're going to add some shakes of this cayenne. Like I said, I got to I got to go easy for these girls, but it's actually a lot. <laughs> It won't be like that way when the uh, water kicks in with the beans. This is the oregano, and I'm going to go about a teaspoon of salt. Get that stirred up, and then I'll be throwing down that uh, tomato sauce over there and the tomatoes as well. Last but not least, we'll throw in the chicken stock, and we'll add it to the beans. I've got all that uh, seasoning stirred up in there pretty good. Now, it's important to always taste your food along the way. It tastes good as is right now, but because I'm going to be adding in the tomato sauce, it's really going to kill a lot of the flavor. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is uh, adding a little more of that, that chili powder, but I'm not going to do that until I know for sure 
that the uh, tomato sauce has drowned it out a little bit. But right now I'm going to go ahead and add this, just about this entire can. It's uh, close to four cups of tomato sauce. It's about three cups and three quarters of another cup. I'm going to do this. We're going to add some of this uh, chili paste. I like to get squeezed in there. We're going to get this stirred up. And then we'll add the uh, tequila. And I'm going to go about a third cup. Maybe even half a cup of the tequila. A lot of people put a beer in there, which is, I'm sure is tasty, but we're doing a little bit different here. Stir that up good. Bring it back up to temperature again. And then I'll add this chicken stock and we'll add it to the beans. All right, let's go ahead and add these tomatoes. We've got that incorporated and we brought it back up to temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the freshies in there too. I didn't do a whole lot of the tomatoes because I know through that slow cooker process it's just going to shred them anyway. They're going to become so soft. They'll just spread throughout the entire thing. Look at that. And now we're starting to get full here. Add the chicken stock. Woo! And that's about a cup and a half of chicken stock. And I, I stopped because it's about to overflow. <laughs> We'll add the rest of it when we combine it with the beans. All right, and I just tasted it. The flavor's all there, so I'm not going to be adding any more of that chili powder. But I will finish off the stock when I add the entire thing to the crock pot with the lentils. That's the next step. So the next video you're going to see is a crock pot full of everything we just cooked. All right, we've filled it pretty much to the brim. I'm going to go ahead and just give these a good... Uh, sauce, get the lentils churned up in here and get it spread out pretty evenly, pull the lid on it. And I'm going to try to cook it uh, overnight. Like I said, I put on low. When I say overnight, it's already almost 1 in the morning. I'm, I'm really getting a late start at this, so it really won't be be too long. Uh, get up in the morning and, and check it out and see where we're at from there. All right, here she is. Been about 10 hours. She's bubbling. Let's give her a stir. Take a look at what we got. Oh, yeah. Looks like chili to me. Whew. All right. I'm going to go ahead and serve up a bowl and give her a taste. See what we got. Oh, hell yeah. That's what we're looking like so far. Man. I just tasted it. It is so good. I cannot believe it. I get so lucky sometimes. My first chili ever. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I was never taught. I didn't do anything other than what I would normally do. I would guess would be in a chili. I'm telling you, this is so good. I just tried it. Man, put some cheese on there. A little bit of scallions for a little extra color and look. Serve it up some bread. Let me show you here in the light. Man, this is some good stuff. I cannot believe it. Had the wife try it. Loved it. There you have it. Homemade chili.